This was a run on a bank with a difference. In Silicon Valley, not regular customers of a high street bank, but tech firm CEOs here, startup bosses, desperately seeking their cash. They just came out and told us that the bank is shut down. Silicon Valley Bank, SVB, is part of the tech establishment here, propping up new ventures. It's been the bank for startups for 40 years, and it collapsed in just 48 hours. We relied on SVB as our bank, and the, the key question is, are those funds going to move as planned on Monday morning? On Tuesday, there was no outward sign of a problem. But then a surprise announcement from the bank on Wednesday. They needed to raise more than $2 billion to offset bond sale losses. They'd failed to manage sudden interest rate rises. And this is what the investor panic then looked like. The 16th largest bank in America failing in real time. At its branches, the notices informed customers that $250,000 of their deposits are covered by government compensation schemes. But that's hardly a reassurance. 97% of SVB's accounts have well over that limit in them. Yeah, we had more than 250 in this um, in SVB. How concerned are you? I am pretty concerned. The key questions now, what will happen on Monday morning when the banks and the markets open? And how widespread could this be? Here in Washington, where SVB has a branch, the government is doing what it can to calm nerves. But in the UK, Sky News has seen a draft of a letter sent to the Chancellor by dozens of early stage companies warning of an existential threat to the UK tech sector. The letter to Jeremy Hunt says the majority of the most exciting and dynamic tech businesses bank with SVB and have no or limited diversity in where their deposits are held. It continued the Bank of England's assessment that SVP going into administration would have limited impact on the UK economy displays a dangerous lack of understanding of the sector and the role it plays in the wider economy both today and in the future. And at the White House, one of President Biden's top economic advisers was made available to calm nerves. Our banking system is in, is in a fundamentally different place than it was you know, a decade ago and that the reforms that were put in a place back then uh, really provide the kind of resilience that we'd like to see. So we have every faith in our regulators. But as she spoke, on Wall Street, the US banking sector was down a little over 4%. A nervous wait now through the weekend for investors. On Monday, they'll find out how much they've lost, and we'll all find out the knock-on. Mark Stone, Sky News in Washington.